So hi everyone, good morning. Uh, I'm going to make a stir fry or a sabji uh, today for my lunch. And for that I have taken about uh, a small cabbage uh, weighing about 250 grams. And I have uh, chopped it up really fine. I hope you can get a good uh, view of this. I've chopped it up really fine. I washed it and uh, I am draining it in this uh, this is a strainer and I'm draining it. I'm going to use a small onion like this, just this much. And I've, I have taken one tablespoon of um, dal, a chickpea dal. I've soaked it in water. And now uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'll just steam this a little bit. Uh, actually, uh, there are so many ways of making uh, cabbage. And uh, I... Uh, one of the ways are this which I'm going to make now. I'll just steam this a little bit. I'll put it in the cooker and uh, I'll steam it. I won't wait for a whistle or anything. Just before the whistle can come, I will remove it. Okay. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. But the next is, uh, I definitely, I will be slicing this up small. And, uh, and I will use uh, a few cloves of garlic from here let's say a handful i will i may i not i may i will use because this is very gassy and we need to use uh, some garlic for it okay so as we go further i will show you so here you go i have taken this cooker and i'm going to put this cabbage in cabbage has enough water to cook this so I'll put one tablespoon of water into this so that doesn't burn at the bottom but uh, most probably most probably it won't burn and into that I'll also add uh, this dal that I sow there you go and uh, with one tablespoon of water I'll just Believe me, this is just one tablespoon of water, okay? And we close it and give it very near to the whistle. Okay, everyone, so let's open the cooker and check out. Oh, wow. So I hope you can see it very well. Uh, this is how we want it. Uh, oh, my God, it's really hot. But anyways, uh, the dal is, uh, you know, about 80% cooked and uh, the cabbage is just right okay so now we'll remove it from here and uh, we will fry this okay so here, here you go everyone I put on a pan and into that uh, just about one tablespoon of cooking oil and as soon as the cooking oil is hot I'll put in my usual seasoning, my usual seasoning, as you know about it, okay, so just about half a teaspoon of the usual seasoning, there you go, and then into that usual seasoning, see, I, I jammed up a few garlics, cut up the onions and uh, cut up uh, some green chilies. There you are. I just cut up a single green chili because as you know we are not good with chili in my home. So just about one green chili. What's this all about? Let it not get, uh, let it not get brown or anything. Otherwise, the cabbage will catch the brown color. Okay. But it's already become slightly brown. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. But uh, if you can, don't let it become brown. And into this, 
few curry leaves. Was this about two? And then we put in some salt. Because when we put the cabbage, we didn't add any salt. So just put salt according to your taste. And now I'll just toss the cabbage in. There you are. Okay. It's very simple. It's very tasty. You won't regret trying it at home. Stir it up really well. See at this stage if you want you can use a little bit of haldi, that's turmeric powder. Uh, if you don't want, you don't have to. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll use it or not. I also like uh, this bright oh, white color. I also like the turmeric color. So I don't know whether I'll use it or not. Let's see. So we'll give it about a minute or so. It has like a, about a teaspoon or so of water in it, in which the cabbage is left. So let that water dry. So I just added and sprinkle, may I say, a little bit of haldi. Because, you know, I didn't want the onion and garlic to give a brownish color. But it had actually given a little brownish color. So I added this so you know that won't look brownish so I added just a little bit I just sprinkled a little bit see anyway anyhow it looks pretty like this so now that all the water has gone away see uh, I have taken about uh, five tablespoons of grated coconut okay just have to add that in and just stir and then switch off you're done just switch off so we are done here yeah this is as simple as this this is a beautiful tasty stir fry awesome okay so we are done here we'll take it out and then I'm, I will show you how I'm going to plate it up and with what I'm going to eat it. Today my menu is egg curry and this cabbage fugar with rice and roti. The thing is I didn't show you the egg curry is because you have already seen twice or thrice of my egg curry. So I didn't want to bore, you know, bore you further. So that's the reason why I didn't show it to you. But nevertheless, I will show you uh, how I'm going to eat it. Okay, so take care everyone and God bless.